Hello from Arizona, my name's Cal and I want to welcome you to the Tough Trails DIY series. Let's get her going. And today we're going to uh, design and build us a rear cargo deck. Um, or it's a camp kitchen or something along those lines. It could be a sleeping platform or part of a sleeping platform but it's gonna help you with storage and help you manage your space, okay? And that's what we're gonna to start today. Here, to make our storage a little bit easier. And right now as we're starting this, the design idea is basically, we're, we're coming up to this level right here. We're gonna come up to right here on this box this time, which is gonna be about 15 inches in the back, 16 inches in the front. All right, so this bottom piece is 42 inches long. This piece is 51 inches long. Actually, it's just a maybe a 16th short of 51. So 50 and you know 15 16th or something like that. And it's it's sitting in there right now. It's not mounted to anything. It's just kind of squeezed in place there. And that's going to mark the front of the box. Okay. Now we're going to go and we're going to go to the back and do the back of the box. Okay. Now this back corner here is a little bit rounded. We want to get it back as far as we can. So when you cut this one, this one right here is also a 51, but if you see what I did here, I just rounded that off on both sides. See it? Come on, right there. All right, and I just rounded it off to fit in those grooves and stuff, okay? All right. Now, when we're putting this together, we're using a lot of big screws and stuff, so what I'm doing is I'm pre-drilling. And because I don't want, because this wood is going to split. These are pretty good sized screws. Okay, and there's your frame. Your frame's all built in there. And now we just need to sheet it, okay? So there we go, all right? So these ended up being 25 inches each. This length here is 51, going this way from here to here. It's just shy of 51 inches. Both of them are that way, okay? Okay, so it's all framed out, and now we're gonna start cutting the panels for it. And the, uh, the measurements are, um, the top plate, for example, is 50, and seven eighths, 50 inches and seven eighths across. That's from left side to the right side. And then the depth is gonna be 29 and a quarter. And what the 29 and a quarter does is it gives me the 28 inch uh, top of that box plus the five eighths for the, each panel on each end. So you add the five eighths and five eighths and that's an inch and a quarter. So you come up with 29 and a quarter, okay? So that top piece is gonna be 29 and a quarter by 50 and seven eighths. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that top piece and that top piece is gonna be cut into two pieces. So I can, it's just easier to put it in that way than try to fight that big piece and force it in there and hammer it in there. This way we'll be able to cover it or if we wanna do a, 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 say a bed liner on it or we wanna do a felt or we're gonna do rubber mats or, or whatever we're gonna do. Okay, but here we are, we're going to start cutting this up, okay? Okay, so the deck lid is gonna be 29 and a quarter. Okay, by 51, actually it's 50 and 7 eighths and 29 and a quarter, and that'll be the deck lid, that'll be the surface on it. And what I'm gonna do, is we're gonna cut this in half so that when we install it, it's easier because we want it to fit good, so we're gonna be able to install it by inserting it from the sides first, and then in the middle. So then we'll run screws down the middle. That's why on the frame we put the the center uh, cross piece in there to help with support. I'm able to cut these lines so straight because this has a laser on it. Can you see it? See how that laser goes? So I can just put that laser right on my line and it's going to be straight every time. Okay, so now you can see 
how those fit in there perfect. Each of these pieces are actually cut 25 inches, 25 inches, lined up right on center, okay? So now what we're gonna have to do, we need this camera in here. It's this corner is rounded actually. So we're gonna take this back out and we're gonna round this corner off so it'll fit in here because we want this to overlap the five eighths. So right up into that corner, really good and perfect. Okay, so we're gonna round that so we can get this right flush up against this. Okay, perfect. We've got the, the top of the deck on, and now we're gonna cut the front piece out. And the front piece is gonna be 15 and a half inches wide by 51. Actually, it's it's just short of 50, like 50 and 7 8 inches. So we're going to measure this and cut it. Okay, so you can see how it's kind of going. Got that in. So the front face is on, the top's on, cut, split down the middle. Okay? And there it is. Look at all the room that you've got. You get all kinds of room up underneath there. See that? Awesome. Awesome, the corners fit real good. It's gonna be good, okay. Okay, welcome back. The Amazon uh, delivery driver just showed up and uh, brought us our six by nine speakers that we're gonna put into our uh, cargo box in the back of the 89 tin top. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to uh, position these and cut them out on the front of our box. This is the this is piece that goes in the front of our cargo box and we're going to install the speakers in this piece right here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to position these speakers, draw it out and cut the holes out and go ahead and mount them in there and see how they fit. Okay? So stay tuned. Okay, what we've done here is we've marked out uh, the cut that we're going to have to make uh, for our latches. Okay? And that's the area right now. So right now I'm gonna cut that out. I'm probably not gonna be able to, to film it. I might be able to set up something though. But anyway, that's what that's the next step right there. Cut out that slot for your handle, your latch. And here you can kind of see the front and how that's going and how that's going to work. So we're going to have a door right there where you can get access from the front with a little surprise in there. We got six by nine speakers that already arrived. Holes have already been cut out and we're going to keep going with it. Just a quick look. So this is how we um, created the backboard. This is the backboard for your gun rack. So that's going to support your guns and it's going to separate the compartment. So we kind of notched it out on top, as you can see it there, and brought it up to the level. So that's going to make it nice and secure. Let me show you from the other side. So yeah, see, there you go. So see, that'll give you enough room to put your rifles in there, the gun rack, and you'll be able to lock them up. So lock them up. Oh, boy, I'm so tired of hearing that. All right. 
This is what I use right here, if you can see it. And we're gonna put this down on it. Especially the edges. Okay. I'm gonna take it, put your hand in the back back here, so you can see it, and work it that way. Okay? There you go. And that's it. And, that, and then we'll trim it real nice and close. Mount our gun racks on it, and bam, there you go. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna paint these jams because I don't want to felt those because it's just going to come off. So, so we're going to paint those. Got the, uh, the paint on the jams and we've got the fascia mounted up now. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to glue some felt on on the front of this. And this, uh, this glue is a pain in the ass to get off the carpet. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that out just a little bit, okay? That's what we're doing there. Okay, what we're gonna do here is, is really all we're doing is we're just trying to, we're gonna cut a piece that's manageable, okay? Because we have this whole big roll up here, and we're just gonna cut off this piece that's manageable. It's about the size that we need. It's gonna be larger, of course, and then we'll just trim her down when we're done. But it's easier to do that because when you glue this on, you really have to push on this and you got to stay on it. You have to remember that this fabric is 48 inches across, but the space that we need is 51. So there's going to be some pulling and tugging and stretching on this. So this is going to be interesting to try to get this to work. This is another reason why we painted the edges uh, around it is because uh, that way if the felt does pull a little bit or if it shrinks over the years and pulls back, you're not really going to notice because the, the exposed wood is still going to be black. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so we're going to start over here because I want to line this piece up. That's what I want to do. And I want it to go right in there in the corner real good. So I got this piece of tape here so I don't get glue on it. Because that glue, I'm telling you, that glue is, is a pain. So we're going to start right there. So we're going to line that up. And then we're going to work it this way. Okay? We'll try to focus more on the bottom and on the top. And we're going to just work it over, stretching it the whole time. And hopefully by the time we get to the other end, we have had stretched it enough that it doesn't that, that it covers well okay oh so anyway we cut it a little bit over on the bottom on purpose so that we can tuck the excess up underneath, the excess fabric up underneath there, okay? And that uh, gets out of the way and it's gonna give you a nice clean line. You don't have to cut it. speaker there's your other speaker they're in okay okay and now you can see that the speakers are all mounted up in there okay and that one's mounted as well all right now we're gonna take a razor blade and we're gonna try to cut this out hopefully this is dried enough and we're gonna be real careful and we're gonna try to cut it all out and maybe I can stretch that piece over the door itself and save some of my fabric so that's what we're going to try to do is I'm going to trim it as close as I can. All right. Thank you. So what's going on here is see all these little burrs and uh, splinters and stuff. This plywood. It's not really good wood. So <laughs> what I'm doing, this is an 80 grit and it's just on a piece of block that we had left over. As I'm sanding this down, I want it to be nice and smooth because this is a door and this door is going to swing open. So I need to smooth this out real good. 
then we're gonna take and we're gonna paint it around the edges and we're only gonna felt uh, the face of this thing. So the back will just be painted black and the front will be felted, but the edges are gonna be painted black as well. So when you open it, you're just gonna see black. So that's what we're doing next. I just wanted you to, to get a, a little footage of that. Make sure, make sure that you flip it over and get the back because that back is gonna come against that edge. And this is gonna put a round, a little bit of round on that and it's not gonna stick. This is gonna allow us to mount our hinges, uh, either traditionally hidden on the inside or just slap them on the outside like a barn door, which is kind of what I'm voting for. So. Anyway, this is gonna make your door fit better. It's gonna make it work better. It's gonna make it close and open and close better. That's how your, uh, that's how your door is gonna fit in there. See, we just sanded her down. We're putting it in there for a test fit. And then we're gonna go back and cover it and maybe uh, put in the door handle. And we might put a door handle in first and uh, get to finish it off. And, and then we'll come back, we'll hinge it. And now we're putting the back uh, of the first compartment. And that's gonna be our you know, sensitive items department. Uh, you might throw your you have gun rack in it, you can throw a couple rifles in there, shotgun, whatever. But you can also put like a metal detector up in there. I throw a pistol in there, you can throw ammo in there. If you got expensive cameras or something you want to put in there, you know, uh, that kind of stuff uh, you can put in there as well. So uh, we just got it sitting there. We're about to line it up and position it. And then I'm going to make some, uh, some uh, L brackets. And L brackets are going to mount this thing up and make it secure so it doesn't move. Okay? Cool. flat bar just cut the four pieces of three of one right there in the vise and we're going to take these and we drill them and now we're going to bend them into 90 degree angles and make our little L brackets out of it yeah see so we'll put L brackets like down here up under here see that up under there see that and that way to stay in position give us the just right amount that we need help secure those weapons awesome okay so side panels are in this panel is now mounted it ain't going anywhere. Floor and down on the bottom, over there as well. All right, so now this is what we've done with the front so far. Let's flip this back so you can see it, okay? So you can see the wires there. We're playing with some lighting and we have our gun rack in there. We have our lights up in the top. All right, so that's what, uh, that's what the lights look like in the back. This is under the cargo box. So this is gonna give you enough light to see what you're doing in here. I'm gonna shut the lights off in my garage and see what that looks like. All right, so there you go. We got our hinges in, and I gotta put a couple screws more in there. Got our hinges in there, and uh, this is just drying again. And then um, got our latch in there, our doors in there. So that's it. So that's done. So now we're going to move to the back. So now we're going to move to the back, and uh, but that way you can see what's going on up here and get that updated, okay? Right now we're getting ready to cut out the, uh, the hole for the latch and position that, okay? So let's look at that. Okay, so here's our back door, and this is what we're going to cut out, just this center right here, and that'll put this latch right here on there, okay? And the latch will go just like that, and that's what we're going to... two hands for this but so now as we got this stretched okay it's all stretched on there now we're gonna trim it out and you got to go really slow really slow and then this piece that we're gonna cut out is gonna get stretched over the door okay so anyway I'm gonna need two hands 
so I can keep it tight. But I'm going to show you how we do that. You can see how it's going. I'm pulling it off there pretty good. It's pretty straight cut. So a little bit more to go. Okay. Okay. So it's all trimmed out. And now we're going to take the piece that we cut off and we're going to cover the door. Okay. All right, so there we go. We got our latches in, got our door in, got our door handle in, opens and closes just fine. That's it, okay? We'll felt the top with uh, the felt that we have left over. So, if you decided to use felt instead, you know, you can find you a piece of carpet, a carpet remnant, something like that. You know, here's another thing, house paint. If you take an external house paint, uh, like a semi-gloss latex or something, well, it's waterproof and you can paint this any color that you want and paint it with house paint. That would be fine. Uh, the construction, we have used 100% wood. It's, you know, it, it uh, aligns with our budget. Remember the, the material is 45 bucks to build a box, you know, for the wood. So that's fairly cheap. A better way to do it would be to maybe build your frame out of, uh, you know, three quarter or uh, one inch uh, angle iron, you know, maybe, uh, you know, one eighth or 16th inch thick angle iron and then cut your panels out and then mount them to your angle iron so you'll weld your doors out of angle iron and you'll put your filling in there with a piece of wood uh, that way might be able to do it be a better way to do it or you can go all metal you can do your frame and then get your go get your some diamond plate steel or some of that aluminum plate uh, uh, aluminum diamond plate and put that on there that'll look good and, and that'll work all the dimensions dimensions aren't going to change it's just the material so with that said well we're going to put the felt on we're dealing with a 48 inch wide piece of felt that we need to cover a 51 inch space. So this stuff has to be stretched to make it work. This is why, see how we painted the black? We paint black around the edge, because so, in case this ever does pull, because of the temperature or you know weather issues or those kinds of things, you know, you're not gonna notice it because it has a, a black, the, the, the backing is black. So it matches this. So anyway, so what we're going to do first is we're going to roll this back. We cut a manageable piece. We're going to roll this back and we're going to apply glue right along our edge right here. And then we're going to put us a nice straight edge and glue this down with a nice straight edge. And then we're going to work our way over to the right. Okay, over to the right, pulling and stretching and pulling and stretching. And hopefully by the time we get over here, this gap right here will be stretched and filled and the fabric will go right up against the, the plastic there or the, the interior parts. So, okay, so I'm gonna do that right now and uh, I will check back in in a moment. Okay, see, so there you go, nice and smooth. That's glued about this far, all the way down, okay? Now it's gonna allow me to stretch and pull and tug and glue, you know, maybe 12 inches at a time, something like that. And slowly work it across, keeping your wrinkles out of it, all right? Okay, see how we do that? Roll it right on up. And then we'll glue as we roll and we'll spread it out with our hands nice and slow no rush here got no place to go okay okay and there you go so we made it nice and smooth glued on we were able to stretch it those extra couple of inches to get it over there and we have a good foundation now now we've got to come we'll let it sit for a while then we're going to come back and we're going to trim it 
and do any touch up that we need to do any spot gluing so that's what we'll do next okay all right guys okay there's your box actually pretty nice it's trimmed out the kitchen swings out put our sill on got our flags in let me go around to the front and there you go we got our speakers in we've got our other door in here where you put your uh, you know valuables and stuff or a rifle or metal detector or something like that all right well i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something from it and got some value out of it you know these techniques and stuff that we're doing here you know we're using geo trackers and suzuki sidekicks but these same procedures and, and methods can be used on just about uh, any other vehicle that may be out there. So we're just trying to give you some ideas. Take those ideas and you can go and experiment on your own projects with your own stuff. Okay? We really appreciate you watching our program. We want to thank you for watching our program uh, and all of our programs. It really means a lot to us. Uh, without you, the viewers and the subscribers and stuff, we wouldn't be anything. So again, thank you so much. We really appreciate you.